see in prison, you won't see in jail like that, gang. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm talking about you waking up 6 a.m., bro, nigga get stabbed up on the tear, bro. Like, you, nigga, fight happened, niggas locked down three days straight. No yeah. shot was nothing. They don't give a f- who fight. Mm-hmm. And everybody getting locked down, you know what I'm saying? So, you learn a lot of patience in there. Hey everybody, welcome to the Bounce Back Podcast. I'm your host, B. Luke. I got a special guest with me today. Why don't you tell the people your name, where you're from, and a little bit about yourself. All right, well, my name is Dottie Benz. You know, I'm from Boston, Mass. I'm out of Payne area, Colby Street. I had a good mom, good pops. I had my pops in my ear always telling me about, you know, birds and the bees. Mm-hmm. Females, the streets, always try to keep me out the loop, but you know, you go outside and chill with your own section of friends. I end up going outside and, you know, creating trouble, fighting mm-hmm. every kid on the block, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to get into the sports. I was in the sports a lot too. I was a basketball player, I played Pop Warner. You know, I started losing niggas to the streets and stuff, so that's when it just started hitting the fan where it was like I had to make a choice where it was like either I'm gonna just either be a sports kid mm-hmm. or I'm gonna pick up the other shit. Mm-hmm. And I kind of made my choice, so. After all that started happening, you know, you get involved in this shit too much and your name start getting out there. The police start hearing your name and shit. Thanks. So now they want to know who you are more mm-hmm. than anybody. So now I'm getting put in DYS. Now, that's the first time I ever went to DY. I was like, what, 14, 13, 14? Okay. So we're we going to get to the DYS just real quick. I yeah. just like to get in the mind of okay. why you made that decision, why the streets over the sports. No bullshit. Looking back. I ain't going to lie. Like, it took one, it, it was really one time I remember this shit. Like, I remember I was playing AAU for like um, this team called the Redline Rebels. RP Terrence Clark, he was paying, he was my opponent. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Terrence Clark, the one that was um college basketball player, the one that died from the city, RP. Oh, yeah. He That's was my piece. opponent. Okay. But he was just extra nice, bro. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm trying to say? I wasn't on that type of like crazy extra mm-hmm. nice basketball player shit. So like he shitted on niggas the whole mm-hmm. game. And it just kind of just made me look at this shit like, nah, this shit ain't for me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't, I, I ain't gonna be able to, if nigga, if I'm playing niggas like him for the rest of my life, mm-hmm. like, we're we gonna have a problem, bro, you feel me? So, I think just after that shit, we lost, you feel what I'm saying? It kind of just made my head like, fuck basketball. So, you when you hit saying? the streets, did you feel like a sense of, of comfort? Did you feel like, yeah, hell yeah. okay, this is for me? And yeah, why, hell yeah. Because, what about that? Because it's like, you get in the streets, I ain't gonna lie to you, a lot of dudes don't like try to say this shit, but like, the shit be fun at first. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It always nice. starts off fun. Everybody try to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, some other shit, but it always starts off fun for niggas because you go outside, you with your group of friends, mm-hmm. you know, niggas causing trouble, petty crimes, mm-hmm. just laughing about the shit later and shit. But then, you know what I'm saying, it gets real. But like, yeah, it's obviously a comfort because, nigga, you know, you with your guys all day, nigga. Mm-hmm. Niggas outside just having fun, chilling around the females, around the block, nigga, you know what I'm so saying? Tell me a little bit about Mattapan. I'm from Cambridge. I don't know much about it. Yeah, so Mattapan, so man, that. Mattapan, that's, 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 that's the best part of the city to me, bro, because no bullshit. It's like, I grew up out there and shit, but mm-hmm. I grew up in Rossbury too, because my grandmother, she's she mm-hmm. from over there and shit, but I'm really a Mattapan kid, because nigga, like, over there, it's just like, Mattapan is rough as shit, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's, it, it be having them areas where it be fucked up, potholes in the city, nigga, you know what I'm saying? They got the, the bums outside. Like, it, it's it's kind of like the trenches where everywhere else is, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But you'll find the good parts too. Like, you'll find certain areas where it's like, you, you don't gotta really be too much watchable, but you know, you always gotta watch it back anyway. But Mattapan is just like anywhere else, bro. It's the trenches, you feel me? What about Boston in general for the people that, you know, we, is we on YouTube, so people watching right. from all over. So just ex- break right. it down the neighborhoods or yeah, how so that like, goes. Yeah, right, so like, for example, so for people that don't know, like, all right, so Boston is the, the whole city and shit. So we got Dorchester, Mattapan, Roxbury, South End and shit. That's like the boroughs kind of. So like inside of Dorchester, they be little hoods. Right. Inside of Mattapan, these these hoods. Inside mm-hmm. of Roxbury, you feel what I'm trying to say? Yep. So it's like those names are like the boroughs and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But inside, we got, it's like a Mattapan, we got like Corbett, Lucerne, Norfolk, all them niggas. And Roxbury is like, you know what I'm saying? Like type, like Jamaica Plain, Heat Street, mm-hmm. Mission Hill, you know what I'm saying? Stuff yep. like that over there. So like, it's just boroughs, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm from the Mattapan area, but I rep Corby Street. You know gotcha. what I'm trying to say? So it's not really like a unity thing. It's not like, nah. yo, Mattapan got beef with Dorchester, Fox, people no. within Mattapan. <laughs> Hell How, no. Yeah, how's nah, that work, nigga, pretty much? Nah, no bullshit. It's like, like I said, it's like the little hoods inside of Mattapan. So you got a hood. We It'd be like, I, for example, my hood might got beef with another hood in Mattapan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just off of shit that happened in, in, right. in the streets or some shit. You know what I'm trying to say? But, nigga, a lot of this shit don't, 
it'd be like it's it's like anywhere, gang. Yeah. Like it really ain't too much explaining. It's like no, I'm we you from here, I'm from here, we both from out of pain, but we don't like Yeah, it. it took me a real lot a lot to realize growing up, like when we were younger, we might have had beef with like some port dudes. Mm-hmm. But I would think I had beef with the whole port, but it really wasn't, it wasn't even like, like that. that. It was just yeah. that crew because they got beef crew. within the so right. it's kinda a similar thing. Yeah, it's a similar thing, bro. But like it's like everywhere. That's why I tell you people like, no bullshit. Everywhere you go, you gonna find the trenches, everywhere you go, you're gonna find a suburban part, everywhere you go, you're gonna find good people, bad people, like it really don't be state it really don't have nothing to do with the state itself Mm because we create that shit you feel what i'm saying because when when all these states and shit was made way 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 back in Mm -hmm. the day they wasn't thinking about gangbanging they Mm -hmm. wasn't thinking about creating hoods when they made these streets on shit this is some shit as us as a community we made this shit you know what i'm trying to say so yeah the state and all that that's just the land that's the 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 people that make the culture right and i always had like old like you know what i'm saying like back in the day my grandparents and shit they like they never understood all that hood shit because they used to be like why y'all going so hard for these streets and these people build it? Y'all don't mm-hmm. even own it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But right. they, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, nana, we, we ain't doing it for that. You know what I'm right, saying? Yep. We out here because we be out here more than the people that built the shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say? So that's that's how it come about with that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about the early life. How were you? Like, I know you said you did the athletic thing. What about as a student? How were your grades? Did you get in trouble? Yeah, what kind nah, of no were bullshit. Going on I ain't gonna lie. Like, no bullshit. I was like the class clown and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I always like to make people laugh back in the day. Like, I was one of those. But I was always cool with my teachers and shit. I was the bad kid. Mm-hmm. Like, if that makes sense. So, like, I never was the person to be, like, fighting teachers and all that shit. Like, all my teachers loved me. Mm-hmm. They just wanted to see me do good. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. But I was just too lazy. Like, I couldn't sit in a classroom and just be, like, in there just listening to a teacher talk about nothing but, like, mm-hmm. bullshit all day. To me, it was bullshit. Like, now, no bullshit. Now that I'm older and shit, I be wishing, like, I paid attention back in the day in high school and I ain't dropped out and shit. But, like... Back then, as a kid, you're not thinking like that. You like, yeah. nigga, she's talking about a whole bunch of bullshit, nigga. You trying to leave. So I was always in the hallways, all that shit. But, like, when I did do my work, I was always smart. Like, mm-hmm. I always knew how to do my work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was never dumb. Like, when it came to math and certain shit, I always knew how to do that. Yeah. But, you know, as a kid, you ain't really want to pay attention to school. Niggas trying to go out, smoke, go do something with their life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I heard somebody say, like, they try to say um, attention deficit disorder, but it's really more like an attention overload Word. because there's too many things going on exactly. for us to sit and concentrate exactly. on whatever your, it may be. Your mind be on something like, just like, it used to be like this with me, like, right? I'll be the type of person, me and my friends, we'd be in a whole group chat or some shit before school. Mm. And we talking about, yeah, bro, we trying to smoke and do all this da, 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 after school and woo, woo, woo. So you in class, your whole mindset is just on... Damn, we about to go have some fun. I just, mm-hmm. Your whole mind's the whole day is just on that shit with your man's and up. So you like trying to rush it. So once they hit your phone, like, yo, we leave it early. You like fucking them up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's really how it was with me. So I just end up um, dropping out at a certain time because I was in and out of jail and shit. So, so, so yeah, talk out. about what made you drop out What eight, and how old were you at that point? No bullshit. Remember. I kind of, it really wasn't even my choice to drop out. Like, I was just too much in the streets. Like, I was like, what, 15, 16 when I dropped out? Mm. And it was just because I was going to DY so much that I couldn't attend school, bro. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I was getting booked for mad shit all the time. So it was like the only time I was doing school was in DYS because right. they provide school in there for you yeah. as a kid. You feel me? But even in there, I was like, fuck school. So you talk about what events led up to you getting locked up at DYS. Did you catch a serious case or was it pe- <laughs> petty things at first? <laughs> nah. You get the continuum without a bond in and then the... Nah, I had, a, I had a real serious case. Like, all right, So when I was 16, I was on Mass Most Wanted. Yeah. At 16 years old, um, I can talk about it now because I did my time for it. But I robbed a bank Damn. like twice, three times, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, so about that, like, what's going through your head to make you want to make that decision to rob no a bullshit. bank? No bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody put the shit in my head. You feel me? I was young. You know, mm-hmm. a 16 year old ain't waking up in the morning like I'm about to rob a now, bank. Now, did you have like older heads telling telling you? Because I remember I kind of did. Was like, yo, if you are gonna do stuff, do it now while you're young because the penalty is not exact, as much. That's, Almost that's like ex- grooming us to get that's locked exactly, up. That's exactly what niggas did to me. Like, no bullshit. Niggas in my ear, like, yo, bro, if this, no matter what happens, you are gonna go to DY. You gonna be 16 in there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You straight, you ain't gonna be in no adult jail. They was no bullshit. They was saying that to me, right? But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get to what I'm gonna say after. You're gonna get what I'm saying. But like mm-hmm. when when they was saying that shit to me, I kinda was like, all right, fuck it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm trying to say? And when we did this shit the first time and the money I actually got the bread, I'm like, oh shit. I really, nigga, I just mm. robbed the bank. But I didn't do it on no Grand Theft Auto heist shit. Like, I ain't go kick down the door, right. big ass machine gun in the, the bank. Like, obviously, nigga, right. I would probably never been here. But so it was what like, was it? Like a note? Yeah, I passed a note. Yeah, yeah, type shit. I passed a note and the lady gave me the money. I'm sorry to the lady too. I yeah, hope yeah. she easy to that. Don't we me. don't realize at the time how traumatizing that could be. We, especially if you go in there with absolutely no intention of doing, they don't know that. Right, and I'm in my, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, 
I'm passing her a note. I'm not really making a threat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But in her, I could tell by how she looked at me, that shit fucked her whole right. her whole day up. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie to you. I only got a thousand dollars on the first time I robbed Damn. a bank, bro. Because people don't understand, like niggas think like when you go rob a bank like that, you're gonna fucking um go in the back where the vaults at and come into heist and get a millions of dollars and shit. Right. It wasn't like that. It's whatever the fuck was in that cash register right mm-hmm. there. So when she gave me the money, nigga, I got in the car and counted the bread. It was only a thousand dollars. Then I had to split yeah, me and bro. So I five hundred dollars. So the math don't even math. Who <laughs> really? Math don't math at all, gang. But you know the money got bigger as we went down the line because I did it like twice. You feel me? I got caught on my third run on some um dumb shit, but I didn't really get caught. I went inside the bank and seen how it looked, because I went in there, we was OT, and it was like, nigga, I walked inside the bank, and it wasn't like the other ones. There was people in line, and each line, the tellers off rip just started looking at me, because I came in with a mm-hmm. hoodie, mm-hmm. jeans, regular street attire, you feel me? They in there suited up, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like, suburban people, fucking security guard was already there, so I went in, looked at the shit, I'm like, nah, this ain't one. Mm-hmm. What happened was, it wasn't even the bank that called the police. There was an off-duty officer across the street at the coffee shop, and he just seen some suspicious shit going on and called for a suspicious oh, activity. So that's how they got behind us in the car and pulled us over. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm trying to say? So when we got pulled over, we got pulled over on like some rotary shit. I went to the um, niggas on wit, but they older at the time. They probably like 19, 20, you feel what I'm saying, at the time and shit. So they face an adult time if yeah, shit goes down. Yeah, you feel yep. me? So it, it was more like... Once we got into that station, we was next to each other. Bro got in my ear like, yo, gang. He started spitting that juvenile mm-hmm. shit to me. He's like, yo, bro, no bullshit. You going to go to juvie, bro. You going to be straight. Telling like, you to take one for the team? Hell yeah. But I already told him. I'm like, but I was already in the plan because I already yeah. knew that shit. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was like 16. So what the, the police tried to do, they tried to do some sneaky shit. So mm-hmm. they knew I was young. So they kept them niggas in the cell and tried to bring me into a room. This nigga tried, this goofy ass nigga tried to hit me with the, yeah, man, you got siblings? I'm <laughs> like... Yeah, I got siblings. He's like, you got a mother? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I got a mother. He's like, yeah, man, you know, the thing you just did, man, this can give you some heavy time. You might not see them again. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. He's like, you sure you want to talk to us? I'm like, nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, think about your family. I said, bro, I'm good. <laughs> so he get aggravated, offended, get aggravated. He just walk out. So they bring me back outside. So what they, since I was a juvenile, what they did was they, they sent niggas with cold dates because they had no real evidence that we did anything. So they just gave niggas dates and sent okay. niggas on the way. They, we had a rental at the time. They took the rental and all that, oh, sent shit. them niggas out the way. I had to wait for my mom because I was a juvenile. So my mom came. She came and she couldn't even believe it. She didn't even say nothing. She just came in and was like, yo, let's go. They asked her, like, yo, for you being his parent, can he talk? She was like, me and him only talking without no lawyer. We're going to just go straight to court. They looked at us with that face like, damn. Like, yeah. They was hoping that I gave up everybody so that way this shit could happen. So down the line, you know, started going to court, took a couple years and shit. And then, you know, I ended up taking the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? They got let off on some. They ain't do nothing. They ain't had no more court dates or nothing after. And I just took my DY time. I ended up going, doing, um, I got committed to DYS to 21. I was 16, a youthful offender. But I ended up doing like, you know, it, it was an um, unarmed robbery on the, mm-hmm. in, the, in the books. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So they only had to give me like, what, a grid level two or some shit. So that was like eight to 12 months. So like, to really think about it now, bro, like, that's why I be saying like the system's crazy because to rob a bank, bro, and get eight to twelve months. Right. Nigga, if I would have known I was gonna get to eight to twelve months, I would have just kept going. You mm-hmm. know what I'm trying to say, bro? But it was just like after that shit, it kind of just opened my eyes to, to to loyalty and a lot of shit, bro. Because not not about the niggas I was with, but just being in there and taking that risk for for the for the guys mm-hmm. and seeing niggas not feed me in there and seeing niggas not really pay attention to me no more, not pick up my calls and shit. You would think I'll learn my lesson, but I still came home and mm, fucked with the same good. niggas. You know, that's just how Is it this be. what the America's, the, I mean, Massachusetts most wanted thing was? Or yeah, was that's, that, the, yeah that's the Mass most wanted, because they had my, they had my. So like, when do you find out that you're yo, on that? Does somebody tell you, tell me that My grandmother story? told me, gang. So, okay. yo, bro, I go, so, all right, so let's get back some. Mm-hmm. After the first time I robbed the first one, remember I told you I got the being it was smooth. I robbed the second one, it was smooth too. At that time, I had, like, I got like, couple bands out there, the second one and shit. So I was, I was, at the time, this is 2016 type shit. So having a couple bands going to school, I was going to high school, I was going to West Rox, um, West Roxbury at the time. So I'm going to school, I'm buying niggas shit, nigga, I'm passing niggas money, I'm just being cocky, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? I get home one day from school, bro. My grandmother opened the door for me. She's like, come here, let me holler at you. So I come sit with her on the couch. She had a little laptop on the, on, on the couch, on, on the um, stool and shit. So when I sat next to her, I seen like the website kind of, but I didn't see what it said. It just showed, I could just tell every picture was some criminal shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm just like, all right. She's like, we, we, what you been doing out here? 
I'm like, I ain't even doing nothing there. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's like, this ain't you. Twist the computer to me. Bro, when I see my face on my grandmother's screen, bro, and it was just like, it wasn't like a mugshot night. It was like I was robbing a bank and the surveillance camera oh, okay. caught me. You yeah. feel me? But, you know, obviously people that don't know me, they not really know that's me. Right. My grandmother, being my grandmother, seen me for damn near 16 years at the time, bro. She like, that's you, bro. Yeah, when you see some, yeah, she somebody sent, you know. She done sent this shit to my pop. She showed my pops already. Ma- Everybody was like, that's him. Damn. But, you know, they ain't going to tell on me or nothing, nigga. It's just like, I'm just happy. to Now, how are you feeling about that situation? You get young, are you feeling like, damn, I messed up? Or is it kind of give you like a rush? Like, no oh, bullshit. damn, I'm, like, I'm kind of you know, like, that it was, dude. Yo, no bullshit. <laughs> it was like 50-50 with me, bro. Like, no bullshit. It was like, it was one side of me was like, yo, you need to cut this shit out, bro, before this shit get wicked. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Then there was the other side of me like, nigga, fuck that shit. I'm 16, bro. I'm going to go to DY. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was more on that side, though. I was yeah. more on that fuck that. I'm 16. Cause yeah. I knew, bro. Like, I, this ain't my first rodeo getting booked, so I know they can't give me life. I know they can't give me 30 years or some right. shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm not stressing like that. So I'm just like, whatever, nigga. They catch me, they catch me. You feel me? That's because I already knew what it was going to be in the end, so... So talk to me a little bit about your DYS journey. Where's the first place you go? All uh, right, so like you talking about first place for me or just personally where people will go if they... Wait, no, for you. Oh, for me. For so you, yeah. right, so um, I, went, I was in um, court in um, Dedham. So okay. when I left them, when you get committed, right, so I say, say, if I say if I catch a little gun charge on the street at 16, most likely you'll go to Harvest Street. That's like dead time. That's like, like Harvest Street is basically like when you sit and waiting for trial and waiting yeah. to get sentenced. That's like you, you say that. So once I got committed and I got sentenced, I went straight to Canterbury. Canterbury's yep. like the other dude. That's like the, the unit yeah. where you're doing your time. So I got the, yeah. right, you're right there. So right next to the pre-release shit. Mm-hmm. So when I got there and shit, it was more like, you know, you get there and shit. But like, when you get there, it's staff, bro. So it's not like police. It's yeah. like, they be regular niggas that you probably mm-hmm. know from around the block working as a staff yeah. and shit. So when I got there, you know, niggas kind of showed me love. Like the staff dude I met first, he showed me some love because he knew my peoples. Mm-hmm. So he was just giving me a rundown of who was upstairs, if I had beef with some niggas upstairs. But I used to always tell niggas I ain't had no beef. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't really give a fuck about fighting, bro. Yeah. You feel me? I can fight niggas. I ain't give a fuck who I was gonna run into. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, when I got upstairs and shit, I ran into a couple heads I knew and shit. So it was just smooth sailing for a little bit. I got, I, you know, you always get into fights and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But DYS fights be weak, cause nigga, you punch a nigga one time, nigga, they breaking it up instantly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit be. But nah, my DYS time was, it was smooth. It went by tight fast because we in there playing the game, mm-hmm. cards, nigga getting the, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. kid jail, so niggas just doing Yeah, everything. I remember they had the uh, ping pong table at CST I when I was to, over I, there. I, I hated ping pong because yeah. I, I didn't know how to play ping pong for shit. Nigga. It's like, different. Yeah, it's not nothing yeah. we really grow up playing. I learned right. it there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I learned I learned after a while because, you know, dudes used to like to play and I used to, <clears throat> I used to feel like the left out like, mm-hmm. kind of place. So I used to try to play with the staff and shit, but niggas just shit on me. So I used to be like, yeah, see me in 2K. Right. Like, I'm not <laughs> 2K. So I'm you do your DYS time. I take it you didn't really look at that as much of a really deterrence from the streets or anything like that. You you went right back into the same right. same thing. Yeah, so I came home. <clears throat> I don't remember exactly. And how old were you, were you in the Delta yet by the time? No, no, no. Remember, I told you I only had to do like eight to 12 months. And so you were young when you went in. I was in, 16 so, yeah, when so. I went in, so I came home like 17. <clears throat> and you still committed, though. Yeah, I'm still committed. So being committed means you basically just in DYS custody. So they assign you a caseworker at the time. You feel what I'm saying? So you get a caseworker and shit. That's the person that help you with your re-entry when you're going out, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. While you're in there, she's checking with you and shit. <clears throat> so, like, when I went home and shit, you know, I just had to um, do the little, basically, like, a little probation shit, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just had to do shit like that. But I really didn't give a fuck. I was missing meetings. Yeah. Nigga, I was like, nigga, they was trying to have take me to go whale watch and all that shit. I'm like, yeah, fuck So how that. long before you went back? How long did you make it on the streets? No bullshit. I probably was on the streets for, like, six months, bro. No bullshit. Cause I was just active, bro. What I, happened? No I'm bullshit. It, back to <laughs> it was like a violation. Yeah. It was like a violation. Cause I was just like I said, I was missing mad shit. I wasn't trying to go to no meetings. Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to fuck with none of that. Whatever. So what do, what do they hit you with for a viol? What do they hit you with for bro, a violation? Be, it'd be just like corny shit. Small. Corny shit. Like yo, you. Like I'll tell their ass like yo, I'm sick of shit. I can't make it to school. Mm-hmm. But they like they basically like on some shit like it's basically like fuck if you're sick, go yeah. to school. I'm not having that. So you feel what I'm saying? So, so the, what happens? You go on the run, or do you go in and? I was like... always going on the run. I would never turn myself in, bro. But mm-hmm. like what they used to do, they used to think they slick. So when I when I got booked that for the six month one, right? It was funny as shit because um, I'm in the room playing the game with my peoples and shit. Um, I hear a knock on my door, like so. I'm mind you, nobody knocks on my door because my mother got the key. I'm mm-hmm. home. You feel me? My kid, my little right. siblings are at school and shit. So I'm Everyone like, got fuck? cell phones yeah, nowadays. It's exactly. not even like a real Niggas thing. Ain't knocking on my up, door. Yeah. You feel me, bro? I look, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, who the fuck is knocking on my door? So I get to the door. I hear the walkie. Like, you know what I'm saying? They fucked up. They had the walkie. Or mm-hmm. I heard the shit. Something's in my head
<laughs> yeah, fuck opening doors. So I go put my kicks on. But when I go put my get my windows right there and my kicks, you know, officers, they they looking at niggas' windows. Mm-hmm. I had like one of them fucked up ass screens, like this yeah. shit was all bent and fucked yeah. up. So he could see right through my <laughs> shit. You feel me? I seen him looking through. We made like eye contact for like two seconds. I just booked it. I try to go on my back door, bro. As soon as I get downstairs, the guy on the cement, nigga, boom. Tackle me, bro. They was like, see, why you running? I'm like, nigga, what you think I'm running for? Y'all about to come in to book me, bro. Did they, they mess like, you up good or just <laughs> kind of just to nah, they get ain't the really, cuffs on? Yeah, they ain't really do all that extra shit, bro. They was just, you know, they tackled me. I felt some type of way yeah. get tackled. You know, I'm going to over-exaggerate. Like, y'all fucking me up. Yeah. But they wasn't really even doing shit, bro. They just tackled me, put me in cuffs. So how much time they give you for that violation? What do they it do with be, that? It could be like... It could be no bullshit. It could either be like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or they can recommit you. So being me, like, depending on how much fuck shit you've been doing mm-hmm. out here, they could be on some shit like, all right, well, now we want to give you another eight to 12 months. So what happened with your situation? No, I did like a punk out 60 days or some shit like that. Okay. But it was like, I was doing 60 days, like every four months, bro. Like I was just going back to back to back to jail. But like, And then eventually what, do you age out? Yeah, I aged out, but like I said, I aged out, I aged out actually when I was doing my statement, because I'm okay. 23 right now. Okay. <laughs> when I went upstate, it was 2021. I went upstate October in 2021, so. So what happens? You catch a case when you're 17 and nah, you're still I caught under? A case. I caught a case, like, right when I turned 18. You okay. know what I'm saying? I caught some, some shit, nigga, you feel what I'm saying? So when I caught the case, I was in my Cody. I had a Cody at the time. It was some it was some shit, so, nigga, like, at that time, I went up going to, um, Nash. So you were committed as a youthful offender? Yeah, I was okay. committed to a youthful offender. That's all the way to 21. Okay. So even, but like, so say I now I'm 18 at the time, gang. So if you catch a new case as an adult, now that's an adult charge. That has nothing to do mm-hmm. with DYS, bro. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So the fact that I caught the DY, um, the adult charge, that shit was out their hands. So now I got to face mm-hmm. whatever the fuck this yeah. shit is. That's going to take yeah. precedent over the juvenile stuff. Exactly. They're going to go over the juvenile shit. All they can do is kind of support me and say, he's a good kid. He don't mm-hmm. deserve this. That's all they can do. Yep. So, nigga, I caught the real case and shit. I ended up going to Nash. But right when I got to Nash, I didn't even last a day. They they put the nigga. So they come around with the list the next morning, South Bayless. So South Bay is just another county jail. So they put you on Nash status over there? Because South right. Bay is usually Nash stuff? status. Okay. At, so at the time, that was Nash status. So, and, so the thing at the time, a lot of niggas... Like, not me, but a lot of niggas used to be scared to go to the Bay. Mm. Because what they don't know, like, Nashua Street, that's what niggas used to call PC jail. Because mm. why, the reason why I call it PC jail is because when you go to Nash, if the police know where you're from, you're going to just go right with your niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if they know I'm from Corbett, they're going to put me with whatever hood or wherever my niggas is at. You're not even going to see the... You'll see the beef through, like, the... The little glass and shit, talking shit. Now, how do they figure that out? Is it tattoos? Do people tell them where <laughs> they're be, from? Yeah, certain niggas tell them where they're from, or you can just, you know, gang units be telling niggas where you're mm-hmm. from, or you got tattoos and shit. Like, it's a number yeah. of different things, bro. And, you know, the police ain't stupid. They on, that's what I tell niggas, the police on the internet too, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. So, you posting pictures, nigga throwing up gang signs, you posting pictures right under your street sign and mm-hmm. chilling with certain niggas, they gonna just put two in. It's not hard yeah. to put two in together. Like, he's affiliated. You don't even gotta be repping the shit. You just exactly. affiliated. So, the fact that you affiliate with them niggas, we gonna put you with them niggas to avoid you getting your ass whooped or getting jumped or having to fight back to back. That's what they do in Nash. Yeah. But in South Bay, there's no color code. There so is no... What was the case that you caught that... Uh, so I caught... Nigga, I ended up getting yeah. caught with kidnapping, home invasion, armed robbery, so with a dangerous weapon, all types of shit. Like, yo, bro, when I caught that case, bro, no funny shit, I lost all hope, bro. Yeah. Like, no cat, not like no cat, bro. I really thought it was over for me, bro. But like, like I said, though, I would just turn 18 at the time. And the whole situation... It was, we was all kids, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And niggas here kidnapping and off rip think like, oh, this nigga duct taped him and had him in the basement. Right. It wasn't like that. Like, if I tell you right now, like, yo, bro, let's walk down the street to your crib, nigga, I got the pole on me. But if you run and doing some other shit or you make it seem like, nigga, you're getting robbed or anything, then I'm going to do something to you. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he did it, that he listened to what we said and we walked him all the way to his crib, that's what got me the kidnapping case. You yep. know what I'm saying? And all that shit just went about like that. But my case was just... It had too many holes in it. It was 50-50 with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he told the next day, because it's like, if you got robbed in all this shit, why didn't you tell instantly? Why didn't you mm-hmm. go straight to the station? Like It was just a lot of shit that with, with my case, bro. You know what I'm saying? But So did you go to trial with it? Nah, fucks no. Okay. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was scared of shit to go to trial. My lawyer even told me, like, when it got close, I was fighting the case for years, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I got I ended up going to state in 2021. I caught this case later in 2018. Okay. So that's damn near years later. Cause you know, when you first catch a case, it's not gonna never be, you catch the case, Month later, you get sentenced. It's never mm-hmm. like that. You yeah. gotta wait it out. <clears throat> you know what I'm Especially saying? Especially when you're dealing with superior court. Exactly, certain superior things. court. It takes a while to so indict. It takes a while, you know what I'm saying? So when it got towards, like, and mind you, know how, all right, what's the shit called when you go to court and they your lawyer basically asks for deals 
but you're not pleading out. It's like one of them things where it's like, let's see what they'll yeah, offer niggas. You know what I'm saying? Some, some <laughs> hearing or something like Seriously, that. Seriously. Yeah. So, like, we was doing that at first. So, my lawyer was asking them what would they give me first. They was talking about five to seven. Mm -hmm. All that shit. I'm like, I ain't taking none of that shit. Now they're throwing at these numbers at you. That, it's a big difference from DYS. We talk yeah. about months compared to years. Yeah, but that was even my first. When I first ever went to court and they was first talking about time, bro, they was talking about giving me and my Cody like 14, nigga. Damn. It, Nigga got, you know, we got serious cases, bro. Yep. I, nigga, I'm in the courtroom like, what? 14? I can't even count that far, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying, bro? But <laughs> throughout time, bro, we start asking for them things. You know, they know the case is weak, kind of. So they, like, throwing out numbers and shit, like, five to seven. Da -da -da. They getting lower. Even when I had my bill, when I first turned myself in, my bill was, like, 70 bands. Mm -hmm. But then throughout time, that's how I knew my case was getting weak. Because I'm going to court, nigga, my shit dropped from 70, 50, 30, 10. Not, nigga, I bailed out for a band yeah. on all those cases. So I'm like... For a kid, I been on this shit, bailing out for a bid. So you say it was weak. Why did you cut, end up it, popping it was, it was out? Just it, was that, just it was just the, that that the cautious in the back. Like it's that one thing when you go when you in court, bro. It's that one side of you just like if I go to trial right now, knowing that they gave me a deal for this low much time, and I go to trial and I lose, and they give me 14, 15, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in myself sick. Like damn, nigga, why the fuck I ain't just take that punk ass five to seven when I had three years that yep. I could have just you feel me bust out, nigga. Came home still young, still chilling. You feel what I'm saying? So when nigga. He came up to me, bro, in Nash when I um ended up turning myself in for um I was on the strip and shit, but I ended up coming back in because you know, I was about to take my time and shit. So I ended up coming back in. So my lawyer visited me in Nash. He gave me a look like, yo, bro, like, this is the last offer they're giving. And it gets no better than this. You ready? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, they want to give you two to three. I said, nigga, where I sign that? Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Two Easy. to three? Easy. I'm not even arguing with that. He's like, yo, you gonna sign this paper, we're gonna go to court, boom, 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 boom. Probation so after or not? Yeah, I got yeah. probation. This shit, two year probation. So I had to get uh, two, three year sentence, nigga, with two year probation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I got 15 years on my probation open. Meaning, like, if I catch a new case, they basically yeah. they fucked me over. Like, what they did was when I pled out, I pled out to assault with a dangerous weapon. That's why I got two to three years. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm trying to say? So that was what I was doing time for. They put all the crazy shit on my probation. probation. So what they try to do is set me up. They're like, all right, this little dumb nigga gonna come home and mm -hmm. fuck up anyway. So now when he fuck up and he come back to court, now we can be like, we gave you a chance. Mm -hmm. Hold this 15. Down. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's just how this shit Is that went. something that you realized at the time or, or is it something that you realized later? Like, no oh, bullshit. these things, they think they, they, they No yeah. bullshit. I, I knew Because when you first get the two to three, you kind of like, oh, that ain't, yeah, no, that ain't yeah, nothing. Yeah, you excited. Oh, probation. Whatever. Probation. You ain't worried yeah, about the probation. Yeah, I ain't worried about the shit. But like, no bullshit. And it is sinking. Until I got to jail with some niggas that really knew more than me. Mm. And then when they asked me, like, what was you hit? When I was telling the same shit I'm telling you mm -hmm. right now, we was getting to the story and shit. And then they was like, all right, so what, what's your time set? I'm like, two to three years with two year probation. They was like, oh, yeah, you got probation? How much are you? I'm like, it do everything on my probation. I got 15 years on my head. He said, nigga, you dumb, nigga. Why the fuck would you take? Mm. I'm like, bro, I'm planning on going home and be on some civilian shit, bro. Yeah. I ain't even trying to get involved with yeah. nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas just calling, a lot of niggas calling me dumb for doing it because they like, yo, they thinking I'm gonna come back home. And just be on the same goofy shit I was doing before, but they was wrong, bro. I yeah. came home and tried to boss my life up, bro. Like, I came home on grown man time. And, like, the way we even having a mm -hmm. conversation right now, like, I probably wouldn't even be able to talk to you like this yeah. four or five years ago, bro. I learned all this shit in prison. Like, I use my prison sentence more like a university instead of just thinking about it as prison, bro. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of dudes go to prison and they just fall victim into the goofy shit. Like, I tell niggas right now, right, prison jail is damn near the same shit on the strip. You're gonna find some clown ass niggas in there. You're gonna find some niggas that get money. You're gonna find some dirty niggas in there. You're gonna find some solid niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always like that. So, it's about who you decide to politic with, who you decided. When I got in there, bro, when I first got in there, cuz I was just on some fall back shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say, nigga? And I, I found the liking into certain homies and shit. Nigga, shout out my homie Chopper Lope. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Chopper mm -hmm. was one of the yeah. first, one of my homies, nigga, that actually put some shit in my ear that really made me think about life. Like, you feel what I'm saying? He was the one that was threw out my bed before I met my homie Cash, Free Cash. Like, before I met my homie Cash, Chopper was the first one I met, nigga. He was the one that was telling me, like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, cousin, nigga, boom, 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 you moving all crazy. You moving wrong. You know what I'm saying? I needed that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was young, nigga. I was ready to crash out. I was ready to spark on whoever, nigga. I ain't give a fuck about nothing. I'm like, nigga, whatever. I got three. But he told me, like, yo, bro, like, Cause this is ain't this ain't right. the way, nigga. You gotta you better than this. You know what I'm saying? He was the 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 one in the prison that told me like, nigga, you can do something with yourself. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? So yeah, which is it's that. crazy to think about it because you were so young and doing such short time compared to the people in there. Right. You know, it it had been kind of a real crash yeah. out move to come. And I ain't gonna lie, like I tell dudes, like yo, prison and, and jail two different things, bro. Like no funny shit. The shit you see in prison, you won't see in jail like that, game. Mm -hmm. Like I. I'm talking about you waking up 6 a.m., bro, nigga get stabbed up on the
Mm -hmm. Everybody getting locked down. You know what I'm saying? So you learn a lot of patience in there too, gang. You in there 23 hours a day, bro. You sitting in the cell all day, bro. You just in your thoughts. You thinking about your family, bro. Mm -hmm. You thinking about your girl, nigga. You thinking about your kids, bro. You thinking, like, it'd be a fucked up thing because you be in there with some dudes, some real solid niggas, bro. Like, Real solid dudes that don't even deserve to be in there. With God, I really don't mm -hmm. care what the fucking nigga did, bro. But like, when you actually have a conversation, like the news, the police and mm -hmm. shit, they'll paint a whole image of a nigga that ain't real, gang. Like I, I've been in the prison with niggas I seen on the news and I even thought was cooked. But when you have a conversation with a nigga, bro, it just be like, damn, nigga, like mm -hmm. you a real smart nigga, bro. Like you shouldn't even be in here. Like I didn't have niggas say that to me when I was talking to them. Like yo, what the fuck are you even doing here, mm -hmm. gang? Like you meet niggas in there that playing ball, nasty as shit. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably could have been in the G League gang. Right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But niggas fall victim to shit, bro. Is it like mental health is a big thing, gang? Facts. Especially with us being black, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's it's a big thing in the community. But like especially like they don't give niggas the resources they need getting out of mm -hmm. prison. They like nigga, you going They thinking because they give you. Oh, tw they give you twenty dollars, nigga, in a bag with a fucking water bottle in and shit like that, and they give you papers to get you. But they ain't really doing nothing for mm. you, gang. They ain't really giving a fuck, nigga. Niggas go home and die first day home, bro. Niggas Sad. go home and go right back, nigga. Like nigga come home from a twenty year bed, my nigga, and just don't have the the ability. To die. Like they don't teach niggas shit in there. What they should be teaching niggas in there is like how to how to fill out a W two, mm -hmm. how to how to do. Cause you gotta remember, there's certain niggas that been books since the nineties, bro. Yeah. Certain shit out here now is 2024. Technology is different. Email. They don't, email. Know, they don't, nigga don't know how to work an email. Why don't they set up computers in the mm -hmm. lab, nigga, teach a nigga how to make an email for himself? Resume. Or teach a nigga how to make a resume for himself? Or fill out a W 2 form? Or fucking, you know what I'm saying? Give a nigga a program in there, have real fathers from the street come in there and talk about life with your kids and mm -hmm. give a nigga motivation to want to come home and start fighting in the jail so he can make it home to his kids, bro. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't got that mind because. Niggas ain't talking about all day in jail, niggas always about some gang shit. Niggas always talking about some gang shit or some frivolous shit that don't mm -hmm. matter, nigga. Like niggas go to the library, don't even go read a book. Niggas go to the library, we playing fucking poker and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it just be like <clears throat> it'd be a fucked up thing, gang. Yeah, no facts. funny shit. What, so it seems like, you know, you're a very intelligent dude. It seems right. like you learned a lot while you were in there. Like, what's one thing that you say you learned about yourself that's very important? Yo, real shit. <clears throat> One thing I learned about myself, bro, <clears throat> and there's like, like you said, bro, I'm really intelligent. And I didn't realize how intelligent I was. And so I started mapping out shit, planning shit for my, my release, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I was putting together plans with like, even I was, I was one of the niggas, I'll take a composition book and I'll just dream, gang. Mm -hmm. Like I'll write down 10 calls I want. You know what I'm saying? I wrote down the colors of what I wanted. Like I'll write down 20 places I want to visit. I'll write down even 20 celebrity females I want to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, nigga? Absolutely. Like, uh, presidents, nigga, all types of shit. Like, and that's when it really came out telling I'm like, I'm reading my own shit. Like, nigga, I got the blueprint, gang. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about podcasting, rapping. I'm talking about, nigga, um, labels and shit. I'm reading shit. Like, I was I was in my brain, but don't get it twisted. Like, you know, I, I ain't going to make it seem like, I ain't going to say on this on the platform and say a lot because, you know, I'm some of my homies going to be watching this shit. They're going to be like, that nigga, like, I had my days, too, where I was on bullshit. Yeah. Wake up with the attitude, nigga want to fight, fight and getting into it, arguing with CEOs, arguing with other niggas on the other side. The homies that had to come up to me a couple times, like, yo, you're wildin', bro, you starting issues with niggas for nothing, mm -hmm. da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of shit. Nigga, I done been stabbed in there and all that, gang. Like, it's just, it be like that. And I'm crip, so you know what I'm saying? I'm over there with the homies all day, nigga, so you know you in a unit. There's five, six of us, nigga. And there ain't no other gang members in here. We running shit, gang. This is our phone. This is this. This is that, nigga. So when you with the homies, all it takes is for... One nigga to call your homie a bitch. We all going. That's a wrap. Everybody going. So talk about your your bid where you was at. You went in for classification. Where at? So Walpole? when I first, yep, I went in. See, they knocked down Walpole after, but when I yeah. got there, I made it to the real Walpole. I mm -hmm. went into the Walpole, Walpole. When I got there, gang, it was a reality. Like when I was leaving court, it was dark. So as we're getting inside Walpole and driving around the basketball court to get to the front and shit, I'm just looking out the window and like, like, damn, this is prison, gang. Mm -hmm. So when I got inside. And they were doing my intake and taking my picture and doing all that shit like that, bro. It was just, everything was just a reality check. Like, mm -hmm. I'm really here. That's all I can keep saying in my head. Like, damn, I'm really in prison. I'm really in prison. I'm hearing the codes go off. They're running upstairs and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this ain't D.Y. gang. Like, you feel me? But what really hit me when I got there is when I got upstairs and I seen the bars mm -hmm. on the thing. And that shit, shit once the bars show me, boom. Yep. That's what, it always happens. Like, I tell niggas, a lot of niggas won't admit it. But they know, bro, once them doors close, the first time you hear that door slam, it give you that chill, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, nigga. Like, but then I just put it in my head like, all right, I'm here. I ain't going home until two or three years. Fuck it. It is what it is. 
You so can't what cry happens? They it. end up classing you it, to the so, max, and nah, nah, get so, in trouble over there. Nah, nah. So when I was in, I was in um um Walpole and Shaw. I ain't getting to nine shots. Stuck to myself. Could only talk to a couple. Okay, of so you're shit. young. You're not doing much time. I'm What's just, the points looking like? What happens? So I so they do point system. They do shit kind of like by your age. Um, if you got your your high school diploma. Um, the severity of your case, um, um, yeah, your yeah, um, institutional if you're history, institutional history yeah. for fight. So I end up having like little less than I think a little less than ten. I think I had like eight, nine points or some shit. I didn't have my diploma that gave me a point. Mm-hmm. I was um, twenty, so, twenty at the time that that gave me a point. Mm-hmm. I had a fight in the county probably like before I um, went to prison. That was that points. Over, that was like yep. four points. So I got lucky, gang. Like I, I was like an inch away from just going straight to the max. But I ended up getting classed to Norfolk. Okay. Yeah, so I ended up going to Norfolk and shit. Did you there. feel lucky when you got classed over there? Because yeah, a lot no of times bullshit. people doing more time, but yeah. to get over there, it's tough to get over but there. But my uncle was over there. You okay. know, my uncle Steve was over there and shit. Nigga, he home now. Shout out my uncle Steve. Like he ended up turning around his bed, nigga. He was doing like a um a life bed, nigga. He ended up overturning it over um, you know, the new laws and shit. So he ended up coming home. But I knew my uncle was there. Plus I knew I had some problems there too. I had to handle mm-hmm. too. But that wasn't stopping shit, nigga. Like, I was like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We can get the LI, we can get on the tier, whatever it is. When I got there, I got a couple of allies with certain niggas just to make sure nigga this shit's ride smooth, nigga. You know it's prison, but like a lot of niggas don't understand that shit too. Niggas be like, oh, niggas be there doing this with their problems, da 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 da. But real nigga shit, bro, it's always the niggas in the community that got something to say about niggas in prison. There's always some rumors happening about niggas in prison about the niggas in the community. Mm-hmm. You need to always realize this niggas in the community be so worried about niggas in prison more than niggas in prison worry about the niggas in the community game. Right. So it's like, you know, you'll be in jail, niggas be talking about how you're doing your bed and all that shit. But my nigga, I, I'm one of them niggas, bro. I'm a grown ass man, bro. I don't listen mm-hmm. to nobody. I don't follow no man, my nigga. I got a whole son out here, nigga. So I'm on some shit like, nigga, I'm going to fight whoever I got to fight, my nigga, and I'm going to do my bit how I do my bit. Ain't no nigga going to control me, nigga, because ain't no nigga bitch me in there. Ain't no nigga ever sl- do nothing to me, slap me, treat me like no hoe. I was in there stirred. Thorough nigga, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So nigga, when I got there and shit, you know, I handled my little business. My uncle was there to make sure shit was straight and everything just You stayed through. in Norfolk the whole time? Nah, so I ended up getting accused of jumping some nigga in the room, which I really didn't too. Mm-hmm. Like no bullshit, but just on camera, them niggas seeing me coming out the room while that shit was happening, it put me in a situation. I got put in a box for that shit and I ended up catching a, um, an intro. You know what an introduction is? It's oh, like when you try to get drugs inside yeah. the jail. So I ended up trying to get drugs inside the jail and shit, nigga. And they end up having me in a box. So just Did they off, do hem you up at a visit or something? Or? Nah, so when I was um for the so they didn't even find out about that intro shit until later. When um when the fight shit happened, it was like later on that day they came asking the unit questions and shit, taking everybody one on one mm-hmm. by one, just asking niggas what's know, going on. Is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. No, sir, I don't know. You bro, no bullshit. They bring in 20 niggas downstairs, bro. Out of 20 niggas, there's at least like eight, nine of them niggas telling. Cause, like, man, why are you in there for that long? What yeah, you doing? like, why the <laughs> fuck you been down there for five, ten? Like, bro, no bullshit. They, they, yo, no bullshit. The police already know, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm one of them niggas, bro. They they pull me in the office. They be like, yeah, we already know you're not going to talk, but just... Stay are here you still, for five minutes. Yeah, so, yeah. They don't even say that. So just, other people don't look Nah, bad. they just be like this. They just be like, yo, bro, we know you're not going to talk, but I just want to still ask you, are you going to talk? Nope. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. Yeah. I'm out, bro. I don't got nothing to say to niggas. That's why I say a lot of niggas be turning out rats mm-hmm. and all this shit because niggas do too much of this, bro. Yeah. Stop talking. Yeah. You don't have to talk to nobody. Even when you on the strip in the community, that's a lesson I want to tell everybody. Like, nigga, they ask you, they tell you in, in the fucking in the in the interrogation room, everything. Like, you don't have to talk. Mm-hmm. What is so hard about telling niggas you just want to get your lawyer? Exactly. There's nothing hard about that. And they can't say shit to you. I always my pops, my uncles, everybody in my life always told me as I was little growing up, like, don't talk to no police. I don't give a fuck. How, like, nigga, even if you think that you're saying the right thing, you're not. No good could really come from it. Unless no you, like, telling and, and trying to get out on a, you know, like, on some snitch shit. Bro, but like, that's, that, yeah, that's not like, even them, good. Them niggas, because that's yeah, only like, short term good yeah, because like, now would, you, your whole life is different. Yeah, like, I would never be a part of that type of shit. Like, I don't agree with none of that shit. All that snitching right. shit dead, nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, I just feel like as a man, my nigga, you know what type of shit you put yourself into. You feel me? You put yourself in the streets. Nobody put a gun in your head, told you you had to be out here gangbanging. So, nigga, mm-hmm. you out here doing all this extra activity, my nigga, when the time come, bro. When the police catch you, don't bitch up, bro. Stand on it. Stand on it, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I had to do, bro. So, was, you know what I'm saying? What, so you, uh, where they they shipped you out of Norfolk, or was it? Did yeah, you so, see classification? Nah, so, so Pete Gang. So I'm in. They, they after they asked everybody questions and shit, I'm going by my day. I'm in um CRA. I'm doing a program trying to knock my shit yeah, down. Word. So you feel me saying? So while I'm in there and shit, um, they start movement. So when they usually when they start movement, that means they're lugging somebody. Mm-hmm. I see the police coming on my unit, so I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm just thinking, you know what I'm saying? Well, 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 they come and say, "Seals, come in." I get up, they're like, yo, put your hands behind your back. So I'm like, why, for what? They're like, you're going to the box. I'm like, for what? They was like, they will talk to you and get to the box. 
So they putting their handcuffs on me and shit. I'm telling my mans at the time, like, yo, call my peoples, let them know, da 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 da. I get to the box, nigga. You know, they don't really tell you right then and there. Nigga, they kind of give me a glimpse of what it is. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> when my ticket came. Were you like genuinely confused because you said you bro, had nothing to do with it? So nah, you no, must have genuinely nah, no been like, what? I was, I was not, com- I wasn't confused on the situation because obviously I know them niggas' fault. Okay. I'm not gonna tell them niggas right. that they fault. You okay. feel me? But I'm just so like, you already got an idea. What I got it an is. idea what's going on. I'm playing stupid. Yeah, I'm, copy, what the copy, fuck? Copy, Yo, copy. What, what are you? You feel me? I'm mm-hmm. playing dumb, but as you should. I'm, I know what's going on, but I'm, I'm confused on why the fuck I'm here. <laughs> you feel me? I'm in my brain like, nigga, what am I in here for? Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying that to them. But I'm in my brain like, what the fuck am I doing here? But you know, I'm just thugging it out. Like, all right, whatever. This shit gonna be like. But this dumb nigga that I'm on the ticket with, this nigga gonna go tell them niggas that, oh, he 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 wasn't um fighting, he was just in there um watching. Why the fuck would you tell them I was yeah. watching? That's like saying that's like me and you in the car driving and, and and nigga I'm driving and nigga be like, oh, and you go you go shoot a nigga and when the police ask me, I'm like, oh nah, he mm-hmm. didn't he didn't he didn't shoot the nigga, he was just driving. You still a part of the case, nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you, you the drama. That yeah. putting everybody in a fucked up position. Mm-hmm. You should have never said nothing. Mm-hmm. So when he said that shit to me, I just shook my head like, this nigga yeah. got me in the max, bro. <laughs> this nigga fucked my whole shit up, yeah. bro. So then after that, bro, I just separated myself from that nigga, bro. So do they ship you right to the max or do you got to sit in the hole, a hole for a little I, bit? Bro, I was in a hole for like, nigga, like two months, bro. Was that your longest time in the hole before nah, I was then? in the county. I was in the hole for like okay, nine so months, bro. Like, no bullshit. I, I can do... One thing about me, I was so used to go to jail, bro, sitting in the, the cell time. was just nothing. And I like being by myself anyway, so mm-hmm. I never gave a fuck. But, nigga, you got to go... I went to the classification shit, try to tell them, like, you know, I'm trying to do better. Da, 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 speak my piece. They gave me a two and um two and one vote to go to Concord to a program oh. in Concord, but they overrided my shit. Wherever they sent it up to the higher up, yeah. they overrided my shit. Was like, nah, he ain't going to no Concord. Mm-hmm. So whenever when the day they came to come ship niggas out, they came around the list. I asked the CO out the sergeant that was coming around. I'm like, yo, sergeant, um, yo, you know where I'm going? He's like, yeah, you going to Shirley? My head, I'm thinking I'm talking with Shirley Medium. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm going to the Medium. They're like, nah, 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 Sousa. Mm. I'm like, oh man, this is fuck. But no bullshit, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, the medium is more wicked than the max. And I'm going to tell you why. Like, in the medium, there's no ducking. It's all open. And everything's open. Niggas is all out. It's too, and, so it's yeah. not like you on that block, I won't see you. I'm yeah, on this no, block. Yeah, no. If you on that block, niggas can come walk on this block. Yeah, no bullshit. Like, it's, was, yeah. there's, no, there's no, like, you hiding or nothing. So if you're the if the beef's there, niggas want to go about it however they want to go about it, niggas going to go about it however they want to mm-hmm. go about it. But in the max, what they do is, like, so say it's a unit. So... There's high side, low side. So high side be whatever gangs that fuck with each other on that side. Then the low side be the gangs and shit that fuck with each other on that side. So you'll be on the unit with niggas you probably don't like and da 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 But when they come out, nigga, we in. Mm. When we come out, they in. But they do slip up sometimes. So say, for example, like say if I got school or some shit around the time while these niggas got wrecked, mm. they're not going to lock all these niggas in for wreck while they right. got wreck time. They're going to come two COs deep to my door. They're going to pop my door open while all these niggas is out mm. and they're going to walk me to the door. But... A nigga can run down on you and punch you in your shit. Some or you people can... probably waiting for that. Yeah, that's what, as soon as, yo, no bullshit, yo, no. Because as soon as the door open, it's it's like, it's grown me and shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like DYS when niggas is petty waiting and trying to figure out how they going to punch a nigga. Like, nah, like, no bullshit, it's grown me and shit. As soon as a nigga lay his eyes on you, it's a problem, nigga. It's shaking, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so talk about, like, what happened with you getting poked up or anything like that. All right, like, so, like, yeah, so it, it was it. some suck-ass nigga, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it was more like, just to make the situation a little faster than what it is, because it's a big-ass story, but right. no bullshit, it's like, it was a rumor going around. I called a nigga a rat, you know what I'm saying? Which I didn't, cause mm-hmm. honestly, and I told the nigga if I called you a rat, you should have swung on me as soon as you see me. You feel right. me? I'm not going for that. Nigga called me a rat. I'm moving on him. You feel me? So long story short, we nigga, we were supposed to set up a fight at 7:15 in the cell, Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Regular shit. He wanted to get the lock in. I ain't denying no fight, so fuck it, whatever. Boom. My homie, I'm in the cell with my homie at the time. He's writing this nigga kites back to back, but the nigga that stabbed me, he's 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 fucking um. He's busting niggas in the head game. He's over here telling niggas like, nah, 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 it's all good, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. So nigga, boom, nigga. I'm like, I'm in my head like, nah, this nigga, he, he, he bullshit. He, mm. he trying to get niggas. But something in my head just told me like, nigga, just, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, bro. Cause we went in there to um go get the lock in. The nigga waited for the door to close. And then that's when the nigga pulled the two, the two mm. nice on me and shit. But it was some little shits, like some little poker shits, but I was in there fucking that nigga up, even while he had the nice. He got long ass dreads, so he didn't poke me up on some gangster shit like trying to get. Me. Nah, what would have been real gangster was if he slid you one of those. Let's yeah, make it even. yeah, nigga, he That's didn't want to do. Yeah, the nigga didn't want to give him nothing, bro. Like mm-hmm. you feel me, nigga pulled the two nice out. Nigga, I rushed the nigga. 
grab nigga by his head. I was just doing everything in my power to make sure yeah. I ain't get killed in that bitch, bro. I mean, so your yeah, adrenaline must have been bro, too. Bro, oof, man, thinking like I never had no nigga be that brave. Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie, I give it to the nigga. Ain't no nigga ever get that close to me and want to stab me. Like I don't yeah. even go like that, gang. So like I give it to him. I got he got more respect as far as that part, but like. He wasn't stabbing me on some gang shit. He was ducking his head, trying to make sure he don't get hit in his face. And as he's swinging the knife, mm-hmm. the nigga just ends up catching me in these spots. So when the door opened, I pushed out. I didn't even know I stabbed till I looked down on my tank top. My shit was red. Damn. I looked at my homie nigga. He was like, what happened? I'm like, this bitch ass nigga stabbed me. We just started moving on them niggas. Him mm-hmm. and his man. We just dusting them niggas off all on the unit. Niggas are screaming at us like, yo, they fucking them up. Oh. Damn. So it was just going like that, gang. But so was, is that something where they try to get you to kind of like... Tell on this person for that? Or like, nah, what's, the, no what's the administration? Or like, no bullshit. You off? know, them, them niggas, no bullshit. I was going home eight days later. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? So I was upstairs and shit in the hospital part, nigga, and they ended up bringing me to the hospital and shit. But they was asking me, like, off rip, no bullshit. As soon as I got in there and I got back my car, I passed out in the hallway. I was losing my blood and shit. But when I got back upstairs and I realized how much officers was around me and shit, I made sure I put that shit in the air. Like, I ain't writing no statements, nigga. I don't want to talk to nobody about nothing, nigga. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm going home in eight days. I'm straight. You know what I'm right. saying? They're like, you sure? I'm like, bro, I'm positive. Yeah. They're like, can we take some pictures? I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to take no pictures. Not. Like, that's what you're supposed to do, bro. Like, a lot of niggas get stabbed or get hurt and they panic and they want to talk and now they want to reevaluate their life and want to. Mm. I don't do that shit, bro. Like, yeah. that type of shit turns me up because, like, that shit just made me really want to do better now. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like my life lesson. Like, mm-hmm. ah, right, you know, funny shot fucked up. You know what I'm saying? A nigga got me and shit, whatever. But. That shit ain't nothing to a boss, bro. I'm gonna get yes, my sir. shit together. He, he gonna have to deal whatever fuck he gotta deal with in his life. And you know, niggas made sure he got handled in there for sure. You know did you have did you have a plan when you start getting closer to that release date? No bullshit. That nigga was on my mind them whole last eight days, bro. I'm right. not gonna lie. I was on his ass. I was hoping, like, I'm like, I'm asking the sergeant, like, yo, can I just go back I'll go go to the mm-hmm. unit for like, you know what I'm saying? Last my last my last eight days. He ain't having it. And I wasn't even gonna end up seeing this nigga anyway. I'm yeah. just so turned up in my brain. I'm trying to Fine, whatever niggas associate with this nigga, I'm trying to catch him. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I need to fight somebody for Ali, but you know, they kept me in a box for the rest of my time, bro. So after that shit, cuz I ended up just. So what you been up to since you've been out, bro? No funny shit, cuz I've been out here just like trying to get to it, man. Just staying focused, taking care of my baby, you know what I'm saying? Staying out the way, cuz like a lot of this shit now is different out here. Like I came home to a whole different world, cuz like I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want need, nobody cares for me, but this is just a lot of. I don't even matter. I ain't even gonna say that word. I, yeah, I they, yeah, you feel me? There's a lot of funny shit going on out here. Like mm-hmm. you got dudes out here that want to act like they they got female tendencies. You got females out here with male tendencies. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like all mixed up. Girls want to be boys and niggas want to be females. You get it's what I'm talking Twilight Zone. Out Twilight right Zone. And then niggas is characters. Like even in my city, I want to touch base on this. Like I came home and you know like. All due respect to my city, nigga. I ain't gonna say no rappers' names. I ain't gonna say no specifics or nothing, nigga. Niggas know who they are, gang. All that trying to be from New York and all that trying to be from Philadelphia shit is gay to me, my nigga. Like, real shit, but like, at the end of the day, my nigga, we from Boston, Massachusetts. There should be no reason why niggas is putting G's after their hood. Niggas is calling themselves trendies. Niggas is calling themselves um, all these... Nick, like, you feel me? Niggas is copying everything. These niggas is doing these fucking dances in their songs, shaking mm-hmm. their head. Like, that's all these niggas shit, bro. Yeah. Since when the fuck do we ever start telling niggas, word of my mother? Mm-hmm. Since when right. the fuck do Boston niggas ever be like, word to my dad? Right. Since when do Boston niggas ever be in their music talking about glah, glah, boom? And doing this twirling shit yeah. and shaking it. Like, that's not us, gang. Mm-hmm. That's not Boston, bro. Like, exactly. real shit, I've been out here 23, I've been on my, like, I've never been really out of state, gang. I'm really from Boston, gang. So it's like. So talk a little bit about that, about you and your music. Yeah, man. like, my, talk, I feel like I'm that. just, dip, like, I feel like I'm a different type of artist because, like. I really put my story behind my music. Whatever I say, nigga, be facts, you know what I'm saying? But it be entertainment, too. I'm just a rapper. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm just, I just rap like the rest of you rappers. But I just spit shit for the trenches. I'm, I want somebody, when I want to make my music, I want to tell my... I want to be remembered as somebody who... I want to be like a Nipsey Hustle gang. Mm-hmm. I want to be like somebody like Pop. Or I want to be somebody like Biggie. Like somebody that's going to be talked about 30 years from now with a positive talk right. on them. You know what I'm saying? Month, R.P. Nip, C.I.P. Nip. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be always talked about because as like a role model, somebody that was actually out here trying to give back to the community, regardless of Blood, Crip, Lion King, GD, whatever the fuck he was, Nipsey had love for you, cuz, right. you know what I'm saying, Tupac was somebody that was in into the community, he was an yeah. activist, you feel what I'm saying? They transcended he transcended just the rapping, just you know the what rapping I mean? Just the rapping into yeah. speaking the truth about our community and putting that out there, that's the type of rapper I want to be. I don't want to be a rapper always talking about shooting a nigga's yeah. face off and Nigga, this and that, because half of these niggas ain't doing none of that. So you already had projects out before. We were talking yeah, a little had, bit about it before, talking right. about so, what you had nope. going on before, and then 
get into what right. you got going on. So, so, so up. before, when I first started making music, cause I was like 16 and shit, and that's when I was buzzing. So at the time I first started making music, I was hitting like 2016, I was hitting like 40, 50K on my song. So 40, 50K at the time, cause that shit was like, Oh shit! You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm going to school next day, nigga. My teachers is like, "Yeah, you, you nice at rapping. You just need to start swearing so much." You know, what I'm, saying? I'm all surprised. Like, what the fuck? How she hit my song? Hey, motherfuckers in my school dap me up, me treat me like a little celebrity for me. And that's the shit that gave me the drive. So I started really just getting consistent with the shit, dropping on SoundCloud. I was a SoundCloud rapper at first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just dropping on SoundCloud. My shit started boosting 100k, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So once I got to that stage. I just I ain't gonna lie, I was just feeling like that nigga at that time, bro. Like yeah. it was nobody I couldn't walk past that didn't know me. I, it was no store that I walked, excuse me, or a school I walked past and little kids run up to me like, yo, Donnie Biz, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it, that was before you caught that statement. Nah, that was, that yeah, was that, nah, yeah, that was, that was before I caught the statement. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, I was rapping before that. Like I said, I was 16 and shit. So, so did you write a lot when you was in prison in jail? Like no bullshit. Doing all that whole time, or just nah, couldn't get in the mood. Not no bullshit, bro. cause I, in jail I couldn't write no raps like mm -hmm. that. Like no funny shit. I, I was, I'm not that type of dude. Like no funny. I go off vibes. Like mm -hmm. when I go to the studio, I don't even write music no more. Like mm -hmm. I go to the studio and punch in. I, yeah. Cause a lot of niggas be having a hard time writing, is cause these niggas is lying. You're trying to write some shit that you didn't do, so that's why you're having a hard time trying to. I go off the top, cause I really rapping with the fuck I'm, I'm, I'm you're on. Just being yourself. I'm being myself. So I'll go to the studio and just do that, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So I only had one, I only got one project. I was called Young Prodigy. I dropped that shit in 2020. That shit did okay. some numbers and shit like that. I was getting paid off it from Apple Music and all that shit like that. Nice. So it was just doing good like that. But like I said, like my music, I'm the type of person, like people can give me a listen and all that. They gonna see like, I got a story behind my shit. You know what I'm saying? I got actual things that you hear and you can relate to. Like I talk about my losing my grandmother to COVID. I talk yeah, about damn, losing a grandmother the period. I'm pretty sure everybody go through that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 talking about living in prison. I'm, I'm there's dudes that go through that. I'm talking about you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about a lot of shit that real niggas need to hear, gang. Like on some real shit, bro, when I was in jail cuz like I tried rapping all that drill shit to some real killers, mm -hmm. to some real niggas, to some real older heads that been locked up for a long time. Them niggas don't wanna hear that shit. Mm -hmm. But once I start rapping that trench shit about life and about how shit really be them niggas like that's the mm -hmm. shit you need to make yeah and that's why i came out with this mindset like yeah fuck that i'm gonna do this shit for the jails gang like that's why i'm for the jails bro for yeah, sure yeah. so what's the plans sure. as far as like um the next album coming out you working on yeah, something no i know shit. i know you fresh I, home man so nah, tell nah, people, yo. you only been home seven months right yeah i only been home like seven months but like no bullshit i ain't gonna lie i've been right now i just been focused on my bread and shit like that you know what i'm saying take care of my baby so like Right now, it's like I'm in that mode, but mm -hmm. for sure, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get back on the scene for sure. But I just wanna be patient with it. I don't wanna Absolutely. rush into nothing and look like the rest of these niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause, like I said, I'm not gonna say niggas' names, but I just don't wanna be in that category of rappers where niggas is just like he's a drill rapper, or he's right. just this nigga who talk about a lot of dumb shit. I wanted to be like, he's different from all them niggas. Like, mm -hmm. I wanna be that in my. There's drill rappers, there's real rappers, and then there's Dottie Biz. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be like that. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, so what is it about your story that you think has value to maybe somebody else I just out think, there hearing that? I just think I'm relatable, gang. Mm -hmm. I just think I, I tell the same shit. I just think I'm I'm not afraid to say what people are afraid to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's a lot of people that go through trauma, and they don't know how to put that shit on paper. And they, they don't hear a lot of rappers say the shit they're going through. So me doing that shit is helping them. Because I might got a song on this album that you might hear. And let's say I'm talking about in, the, in one of my songs going through some shit with my moms mm -hmm. in the crib. You might be 15 in the crib and your mom just rash you for some little stupid shit. You go put my headphones on you like, this nigga talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of Absolutely. shit that you're supposed to do, bro. Like, I want to help niggas. Like, it ain't always about the negative shit. Like, you got you to gotta remember, I want a fan base where it's like old people are bumping me. Nigga, Christians are bumping me, Muslims are bumping me, jails are bumping me, females, males, don't matter. When you just put yourself in this drill category, bro, you're not going to have women in their 50s wanting to bump that shit. You're not going to have some older niggas that's really in tune and want to, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to mm -hmm. hear that shit, but you're more likely to blow when you're talking about some that's real cool. shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not everybody can relate to the street stuff because exactly. not everybody's Cause street. Bro. Everybody, so, and like I said, like everybody, like you said, everybody can't relate to shooting people and stabbing people and doing this to the ops and spinning blocks and shit. Like, and honestly, on Dead Dogs, I'm not even gonna lie to you because it's like every rap be the same. Everybody just say mm -hmm. the same shit. Blah, we spinning niggas' blocks, hit a nigga in his top. I don't know. Like, 
played this out. This shit get old, gang. Facts. How many of you niggas gonna say the same exact line 30 times <laughs> in each song? Y'all niggas been saying spinning blocks, and if you look on the BPD news, ain't nigga, we ain't seen a shooting in a week. Right. What the fuck so are we talking spinning? about? Who was spinning what then? So talk to me a little bit about being a, a father, man. What's the best you know, what's the shit. best part about being a dad, Everything. Man? Everything's the best part, nigga. There's no dull moment with my mm. son because, like, no funny shit. I, like, that's probably the best thing that happened to me in my whole life. If it wasn't for my son, cuz, I will be probably dead out here, probably still doing time in prison. Because there was times in prison, gang, where I didn't want to really violate niggas. Like, I really wanted to do something to niggas, but I had to really put my son in the back of my head. Like, nah, that's what I get on the phone with him. He's speaking gibberish to me, but he's trying to talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the motivation mm-hmm. I needed. Like, yeah, these niggas ain't worth it. What are you niggas. looking forward to the most about that, being a father, watching Yo, cause your son? I'm, I'm trying to wait till he gets to that age where I can sign him up for part one of mm-hmm. No Books, No Balls. Some shit. I'm trying to watch my little man yeah. do some sports shit. Like, I don't want him to follow the path yeah. I did, gang. Like, that's not the goal. If any father out here is trying to lead their kid, and to be in the same way that they was and not better, then you ain't a real father, bro. A real nigga shit, nigga. My son barely understands shit I be saying, right? Yeah. But when we in the crib, if he fucking up, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I really look him in his eyes. Grab yeah. him by his hand. I might hit his hand a little bit. I don't never get crazy with my son. But I'll mm-hmm. tap his hand. He might cry and shit, but I, I, don't, I don't baby him, gang. Like, he's a baby, but I want him to grow and understand that life ain't fair. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Shit's going to get thrown at you. You gonna have these times you gonna cry like this. You gonna have these times you gonna wake up and not wanna. You gonna wanna give up. You gonna have these times, but what's gonna fuck him up is me not being there to tell him this shit. Yeah. That's where a lot of niggas fall victim to these streets. And like I said, I have my father. I chose my road, mm-hmm. but a lot of dudes out here they in prison or they fucked up and dead or they out here bum being bums and all this shit because they never had that male figure in their life tell them nigga like nah. Come here, let me do it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to mold my son. It ain't always about just being there and just showing your face here and there and just buying him gifts back to back. And mm. like, I can go buy my son some kicks right now. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, I can go buy him this toy. I can do that. Mm. But that shit, them toys and shit gonna oh break God. one day. Nigga, so, them shoes gonna get dirty. You know so you saying? had, say you got a, a homie that just touched down, man. You've been out seven months. A lot of people don't make it that long, All man. Right. What advice would you give to somebody, man? Just came home today. <sighs> Man, listen, bro, if you came home today, bro, focus on yourself, my nigga. Because I'm pretty sure, like, you in there, bro, like, niggas wasn't there for you, like they say. You know what I'm saying? You know everybody going to go through it. You gonna, you was in there, niggas ain't saying you no money. Niggas was out there trying to hit up your bitch when you in there. Niggas was in there doing all types of shit. So when you come home, always have that shit in your mind. Mm-hmm. Them niggas that was there for you, that whole bit, whether it was five years, I don't fuck you was in jail for two two months. Appreciate that shit, gang. Yep. Appreciate the whoever. Parents that are stuck parents through. Parents that stuck through. You know, moms, I, oh, dads, yo, no that. bullshit. Yep. Everybody who answered my call in jail, everybody who made sure I had eight in there, my nigga, I talked to them still. Mm. And the ones that didn't make sure I was good in there, they, they, they can't speak to me. I changed my number. Like, they can't reach me, okay? Like, there's nothing they can say to me that can possibly, because at the end of the day, I was at my lowest. So what, what can you mm-hmm. say to me now while I'm home that's going to make an excuse on why you right. couldn't send me $50 or 25 Like, you got to think about it, gang. I'm asking for fifty dollars, and I got about five niggas on the phone. Why the fuck all y'all niggas can't throw ten? Yeah, that's what's good about like my brother has been down fifteen. He has right. me out here to do like, yo, come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. I'm, but not everybody has not that. Everybody you know has what I mean? that. Okay? So, Appreciate sure. my little brother Rocky, nigga. Our, I mean, I'm sorry, our, <clears throat> shout out my brother Rocky Trap. You know what I'm saying? Like my little brother when I went in, he was what damn near like still eighteen, young. Like he was young, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. And on dogs, my little brother was putting money on my books, gang. Yeah. Like no funny shit. And that, I love my little brother, cause yeah, like so no it. funny shit. That that's my heart, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, no funny shit. Like I, you gotta for people that's coming home, coming out of prison, jail, DY, whatever. Cause focus on you. You can't get nobody right out here unless you got yourself together. You can't help nobody unless you help yourself. You can't. Focus unless you're focused up, nigga. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? If you come out of jail and you go chill with them same niggas, all they gonna do is pass you a blunt, pass you the liquor. Yeah, bro, these niggas was out here talking shit about you, bro. Da, 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 da. And it's gonna put you back in the gang shit mindset, cuz, and you just gonna be out here doing it. And don't get it twisted. I have my days, gang. I be having my days. I be wanting to go spaz out. I be having my days. I be wanting to. Nigga, I had a moment today, gang. What, keep, go... what keeps you? Does it go back to your, your, your son? It'd be my son, gang. It'd be. It be my girl, nigga. It be like it be a lot of shit, gang. Like I, I be having to really tuck my pride sometimes. I really have to like just be sometimes like. Sometimes we gotta say it's, purpose, it's not about us. It's bro. not about it's really us. Not, no, nigga. It's not about me no more, gang. Like I have a whole. It's not even like I got a little girl. Like I got a little boy, gang. Mm-hmm. Like I got a baby boy who's gonna look up to his father and wanna know 
a lot. He gonna get yeah. older and want to ask a lot of shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want him to know who I am, but not want to be who I am. You yeah. get what I'm trying to say, guys? Well, so I'm sure like, he's gonna be proud of the man that uh, yeah. that he's gonna be introduced to when he's old I'm enough be to proud understand of my son it and all of that. Yeah. So um, I appreciate you coming through. If there's just anything else you wanted to add before I let you go, now's a chance to yeah, do man. so. Yeah, man. Yo, man, free, free, free cash, man. Free all the homies in the cells, man. Free T. Flea, man. Shout out all my niggas, man, for that. You know what I'm saying, man? Like. Free the whole jails, free snacks, man. Free, 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 um, free T Flea, nigga. Free, free, free all the guys, bro. Like, no funny nice. shit. If I ain't say your name, you know I love you, nigga. Free P, free Buns, free Nasty. Like, straight up, nigga. Like, free Juju. Mm -hmm. Free all the guys. Yeah, I saw I'm for the jails, right. man. We doing this for y'all, gang. I'm gonna make sure, nigga, if I, anything ever blow up off of anything, gang, I'm gonna make sure the jails is always gonna be straight. Right. For, for real, real man. So, so I appreciate you coming through. Guys, thanks for tuning it. in. It is what it is. What's next is what you make it. I'm B. Luke. That's my guy. One more time for the camera. Tell them oh, who you are. Man, you know what time it is, gang. Yeah, you heard me. All right, where can they find you on the social media if you got that up and running? You can find me on Instagram, man. You can find me on Instagram at DottieFOE. I don't got no Facebook, no Snapchat, okay. man. But you can find me on Instagram, Dotty F O E. You want to listen to my music? Dotty Beers everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever you want to do. SoundCloud, it's all there. Just tap in right. with me. Hopefully, y'all fuck with me how much I fuck with y'all, man. So just, just tap in with me. All That's right, it, on man. that note, we out of here, y'all. Right. Peace out. Appreciate you. Man, you got a moment when they see you down, there's no